And as the University of South Carolina prepares to welcome its largest freshman class, today there was another new unveiling just down the road from the Babcock Building. They unveiled a massive new student resident housing facility. News 19's Riley Hackett takes us inside what's called Campus Village. The University of South Carolina welcomed the community to their new residential development on Friday. It is here where the success of our students begins. It's called Campus Village. It'll house 1,800 students in four different buildings. The university says this project has been in the works for years, and it cost them $240 million. It includes a new dining facility, the university's largest, a student success center for academic help, and lounges, as well as full community kitchens, study rooms, and more. The Associate Vice President of Residential Experience says the new development has a modern design, unlike many of the university's dorm buildings. Back in the day, we, they were what we call double-loaded corridors. Those buildings were built quickly after the Second World War to accommodate the GIs coming back. So you have a lot of, you know, 1950s era, 1960s era, where we were just trying to make as many beds as we could. And so those are highly, they're, they're densely populated. University staff members say they focused on providing a place to build community, especially for freshmen who will make up the majority of Campus Village residents. I'm intentional about building relationships. Um, the first year of college is super hard, but here at U University of South Carolina, um, we really want to make that first year experience great for them. Laura Shepard and Ella McGarrigan are both freshmen who have already moved into Campus Village during early move-in. Pretty excited. It's super nice. Like everything is so clean and new. They say they like the building's focus on community. It, there's like so many places just to meet new friends and yeah. stuff. So the rest of the Campus Village residents will move into their new home by Sunday. Reporting in Columbia, I'm Riley Hackett, News 19 WLTS. Well, the new development is also home to a handful of living and learning communities, which are major specific groups of students who live and take classes together.